has concerns or information about the thieves to call police. And lawyers in the East Palestine area are helping people with $600 million in a class action settlement connected to the toxic train derailment there. This week, thousands of claim forms for direct payments to households and personal injuries started going out to people living within 20 miles of the derailment. There are deadlines for residents and business owners. To file a claim, you have until August right now, August of 22nd, okay? That's to file a claim for the direct payment, as I mentioned, and or the personal injury portion. There in East Palestine, getting one of these forms does not guarantee payment. A settlement administrator will review the claims and decide who is eligible. Friday, Allied Nations will observe 80 years since the D-Day battle in Normandy. This year could be the last where World War II vets can take part because of their age. Two dozen American vets who fought in Normandy are going to be there, the youngest 96 years old. Another 115 American vets will be there to show their support. And with hurricane season coming, hurricane hunters are helping meteorologists forecast where the storms will go by heading right toward the storms. This will be the most active hurricane season NOAA has ever forecast. Hurricane hunters said the only way to get the most accurate data on the storms is to fly into them and follow the storm until it hits land. They travel through the eye wall as many times as needed to get a 3D picture of the storm. It's amazing how you can begin a flight with one storm and five hours later, that hurricane is completely different. NOAA expects eight to 13 storms to become hurricanes. The Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney joins us. Austin, we're paying closer attention to kind of timing tomorrow yeah. and the potential for some rough storms. Yeah, the problem is the models today, they keep slowing these storms down a little bit. So you think you got all that heat, that mugging is just building up. And it could add a little fuel to the fire later on tomorrow afternoon. So tomorrow we have a decent cold front that's going to come on through, and it could give us a few rounds of storms on Wednesday. The main round is going to be real late tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. A few isolated, strong and severe thunderstorms can't be ruled out. The good news, if you're not ready for full-on summer heat, we get past this, 70s return for highs, and we can give that AC a little break as we get towards the end of the week. Here's the cold front. It is still well out to our west right now. It will continue migrating our way as we go throughout the day tomorrow. During the morning hours tomorrow, a few light showers are possible in advance of it. And then after we get all that heat built up during the day, that's when we can crank up some of those stronger storms tomorrow evening. But no other worries out there tonight. Here is the view into downtown Dayton. Uh, the rain is tapered off for now. Just a few sprinkles out there, and most folks are starting to dry on out. Out the door tomorrow morning, I suggest having those push notifications on on that WHI weather app. The storms late tomorrow could have a lot of lightning. And if you do have some of that lightning near you, the app will let you know so that you can get inside, get the kids inside. Of course, you want the rain gear with the, the potential for those downpours. And there may be some peaks of sun at times as well. So the sunglasses may also still be a little bit useful. So here's the latest on Futurecast. Early tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy skies, perhaps a stray shower out there. And into the early part of the afternoon, there could be a few hit or miss showers. But you'll see the trend on Futurecast tonight is to bring a pretty decent line of thunderstorms into here around dinner time tomorrow night. So these could be knocking on the door there in Mercer County around 4 to 5 p.m., getting closer to Dayton by 5 or 6, and then clearing out of the valley after 7 to 8 p.m. That timing may shift in either direction a bit, but late tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, a broken line of strong thunderstorms does look to be a pretty good possibility. Of the threats, damaging winds looks to be the main concern but you can't totally rule out some hail or even a brief spin-up. I don't think those are big threats, but threats that we still have to consider. Any storm, regardless if it's severe or not, could produce some heavy rainfall and frequent cloud to ground lightning late tomorrow. Now behind that system, look at the drop-off in the temperatures. On Thursday, we're still fairly warm, 80 degrees, but Friday, a high of only 73 degrees. We'll have low temperatures Friday night into Saturday morning in the mid-50s, and then we hang out there in the mid to upper 70s for a couple days. And not only will the temperatures be comfortable, so will the humidity levels. Tomorrow, we're feeling it. It's going to be a muggy day. One of those days that you step outside and know that, yeah, we can get some storms going in an air mass like this. But then totally different story come Thursday. You see the greens indicated on our map here. That indicates that very comfortable, dry air mass. That with the 70s 
and it's going to feel very nice to round out the work week. Here's my storm center, seven day forecast. Showers and storms tomorrow, especially late in the day, high of 81 degrees. Thursday, a shower early, then partly cloudy, dry for the afternoon at 80. Friday's the coolest day, 73 degrees. This weekend, Saturday, dry at 76. We could bring back a few showers late on your Sunday. Austin, we have a quick reminder about our free WHI weather app for folks. It has hour-by-hour -hour forecasts along with customizable alerts for wherever you are. And if you're away from the television, it's so easy to use, and it's even easier to get. All you have to do is scan the QR code there with your phone, and then you can download it. This is not the kind of attention Major League Baseball wants. It faces a new gambling scandal, including a lifetime ban for a player. We look at which one's been suspended.